friends once again welcome back to the sellership so today we are going to discuss draft survey question and answer which is presently asked by mmd surveyor for oral examinations okay so how if you say how i know that it is asked this question is generally asked by draft survey because i have the many groups whatsapp groups there are more than 3400 members so they are all they pay, they are preparing for the oral examinations so once they clear they will put in that groups so in that last i will share that link also you can also join if you want okay so this is a generally i selected that latest question which is generally ask all that surveyor in function 2 okay so this is draft survey question and answer by mmd surveyor so our first question how many correction in draft survey calculations so there is total six correction okay first three correction due to shift draft mark are not perpendicular okay so first three correction in that end of the video i will show you where all these corrections so first three correction due to shift draft mark are not perpendicular okay so you have to give this answer six correction the first three correction due to shift draft mark this third fourth correction is first trim correction then fifth correction is second trim correction and then sixth correction is list correction okay so next question is what is draft survey a draft survey is calculation to determine weight of the cargo loaded to or discharge from a ship derived from the changes in the ship's displacement the draft survey is performed by reading the ship straf on the draft marking at six standard point on the both starboard and port sides of the hull forward midship and aft the draft mark are corrected by applying correction on factors such as draft trim and water density so this is the answer why mean of mean draft formula what is mean of mean draft formula so mean of mean draft formula is forward plus aft plus 6 midship divided by 8 so sometimes surveyor ask how you get this six value so you can see here forward draft forward port and forward starboard divided by 2 so you get 2 forward draft aft draft aft aft port starboard 2 mid draft so mid port mid starboard so total 2 4 and 6 so you get total 6 so you are getting the six figure is from there now why divide by 8 in this formula so because you have to explain this let's see consider m1 is equal to forward plus aft draft divided by 2 so this is m1 m2 is mid ship starboard mid ship port divided by 2 okay this is m2 Now M3 is equal to M1. That means this one and plus M2 is equal to divided by two. So this is M3. So M3 is quarter mean draft or mean or mean drafts. So M3 M4 is M3 plus M2 divided by two. So M4 is mean of mean draft or quarter mean draft. So this. So how you will get a Two plus two plus two plus two, so you get eight. So sometimes the surveyor asking how you will get six and how will you get eight. So you have to explain this. Okay, formula for constant calculation in draft survey we have to calculate constant on board. So there is two method to calculate constant on board. So one is by formula, which is zero point five plus zero point zero five n percentage of the ship state weight. Where is this n is this n? N is the number of year of the life. Means how many years of vessel old? Like ten years. So you have to multiply by tens. Or actual displacement after the calculation of draft survey, you get actual displacement by the draft survey. Then you have the right ship displacement you get from the hydrostatic table booklets. Then all weight you know, fresh water, bunkers, leo boil, everything you know. So Add, then divide by this, you will get the constant value. Okay, now next question is, 
why first trim is correction is required the vessel trim is measured from the lcf longitudinal center of flotation not the midship the first trim correction is account for the distance between lcf and midship okay so this is because of this vessel is measured trim on the lcf not on the midship so we have to compensate that error so we need to calculate okay so that's why we are using first trim correction so first trim correction formula is trim into lbp divided by 2 minus lcf divided by lbp now if you apply first correction why second correction are required okay if you see hydrostatic table booklet in the hydrostatic table draft you see 9 9.20 9.40 everything is on the even kill not trim so in hydrostatic table the value of lcf is given at even kill draft of the vessel but vessel but when the vessel trim the water plane area change okay so water plane area will change this change of water plane area caused to shift of lcf longitudinal center of rotation position of the vessel which cause error in displacement calculation so second trip correction compensate displacement error due to shift of lcf okay now second trip correction formula is 50 into trim square mctc1 mctc2 divided by lbp so this is second trim correction formula why no draft survey required on oil tankers okay because what happened liquid cargo if you put in the glass in the tanks anywhere in the in the ball it will take the shape of that okay it will equally distribute equally to everywhere but if you put iron ore or you put coal it will not take all that shapes no so you cannot calculate so if you survey ask this question you have to give this answer because cargo on tanker is uniformly distributed liquid cargo takes the shape of tanks which solid cargo not Hence, by measuring the allege and multiplying with density, we can get the weight of cargo of oil tanker. But cargo like solid bulk cargo, grain cargo, coal cargo do not take the shape of the hold. Hence, we cannot get the correct weight by measuring the height up to which the cargo is loaded. So, because of that, draft survey is not required on oil tankers or chemical tankers or gas tankers. It is required only for bulk cargo okay now the question is how to calculate draft survey so first take six draft forward aft midship port and starboard okay so for draft calculation first we have to take initial draft survey once vessel arrive then once half cargo is loaded intermediate draft survey and then final draft survey calculation so first take six draft forward and aft and midship port starboard since draft marks are not exactly at perpendicular, they are slightly forward or aft. So we need to apply correction to bring draft mark to perpendicular. Okay, this is figure you can see. Now, how to calculate this draft survey? So you have to remember this formula. You already done this phase one in the cargo, but for oral you have to remember this. Okay, so like forward draft. So forward port forward starboard divide by 2 so you get forward draft okay in meters aft draft aft port plus aft starboard divide by 2 you get some aft draft mid draft mid port plus mid starboard divide by 2 you get okay now this draft mark is not at perpendicular so we need to correction so first three correction what i discussed in the first question now we are going to apply these three correction okay so forward draft correction what is formula trim between draft mark 
डिवाइड बाई डिस्टेंस बिटवीन फॉरवर्ड एंड आफ्ट ड्राफ्ट मार्क इन टू डिस्टेंस बिटवीन फॉरवर्ड परपेंडिकुलर एंड फॉरवर्ड ड्राफ्ट मार्क सेम दिस इज फर्स्ट करेक्शन ओके सेकेंड करेक्शन इज आफ ड्राफ्ट करेक्शन सो ट्रेम बिटवीन ड्राफ्ट मार्क डिवाइड बाई डिस्टेंस बिटवीन डिस्टेंस बिटवीन आफ्ट एंड फॉरवर्ड ड्राफ्ट मार्क इन टू डिस्टेंस बिटवीन आप परपेंडिकुलर एंड आप ड्राफ्ट मार्क सेम दिस थर्ड करेक्शन मिड शिप ड्राफ्ट करेक्शन सो ट्रेम बिटवीन ड्राफ्ट मार्क डिवाइड बाय डिस्टेंस बिटवीन आफ्ट एंड फॉरवर्ड ड्राफ्ट मार्क इन टू डिस्टेंस बिटवीन मिडशिप एंड मिड ड्राफ्ट मार्क ओके सो दिस थ्री करेक्शन इज फर्स्ट आई इन फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ओके नाउ ड्राफ्ट नाउ वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट ऑल दिस एट परपेंडिकुलर ड्राफ्ट एट फॉरवर्ड परपेंडिकुलर सो ड्राफ्ट एट फॉरवर्ड ड्राफ्ट प्लस माइनस फॉरवर्ड ड्राफ्ट करेक्शन सेम एस ड्राफ्ट एट आफ्ट परपेंडिकुलर सो ड्राफ्ट एट आफ ड्राफ्ट मार्क प्लस माइनस आफ ड्राफ्ट करेक्शन Similarly, draft at midship so draft at midship draft mark plus minus midship draft correction okay now this is come on the our perpendiculars now how we will get plus minus okay so positive if draft mark opposite to the trim end with respect to forward aft and midship and how you get negative negative draft mark towards this opposite this towards the trim end with respect to forward perpendicular aft perpendicular and midship then you calculate mean of mean drop mean of mean drop so formula is forward plus aft plus 6 midship divided by 8 okay then first trim correction so trim into lbp divided by 2 minus lcf divided by LBP. Then true mean draft. So 
main of main draft your quarter main draft plus minus first term correction so whatever answer you get first term correction positive or negative just right here okay then once you get true main draft so you will calculate the displacement in sea water from hydrostatic booklet now you apply second trim correction so 50 into trim square into mctc1 mctc2 divided by lbp if is there any list correction so apply the list correction formula 6 into d1 d2 what is d1 d2 this is midship port this is midship starboard okay into tpc1 so tpc1 is midship port tpc2 midship starboard okay so we get displacement of in sea water okay now if you have constant you can find out constant you can find out the actual displacement light ship displacement so you can find out the cargo how much loaded so if the surveyor ask how you will calculate so you have to tell all this procedure okay now i tell you, now in starting i tell you how i know this that this is question is asking the latest surveyor okay so because of this this is my channels this is only for the oral question answer which have 27345 members okay there is also master for therefore second amendment also so hope you understand this draft survey question answer asking by the mmd surveyor if you have any doubts or if you want my the sailorship notes write me in comments or if you want to link of this chief mate oral set this is whatsapp group so you can message me on that uh, or you can call me on number okay so thanks best of luck for your exams and uh, see you on the next video